The soft bait kit by Alumilite is the perfect product for any angler looking to make their own soft plastic baits. It includes everything you need to learn about the process and begin pouring your own lures, whether it be trailers, mice, crayfish, worms, whatever you decide to create. Take a look at Larry Dahlberg's video included in this kit. It'll teach you the basic techniques and the tips and tricks that Larry uses to make his own soft plastic baits. You start out by taking the Sculpey clay and sculpting your own original. Sculpey is great because it's flexible, pliable, and doesn't harden until you bake it. If you don't want to use clay and you have an existing lure, or a lure carved out of wood or another material, you can skip ahead to the molding process. Once your original is sculpted, go ahead and bake it per the instructions on the Sculpey package and remove it from the oven once hardened. At this point you can add any finishing details or do any last minute sanding before you make your mold. The next step is to glue your original down to a base. This ensures that it doesn't float when the silicone is poured into the mold box. Take the included corrugated plastic strips and cut them around the original to form a mold box to contain the silicone. The mold box can be sealed with hot melt glue. To prepare your silicone, simply mix the silicone per the instructions included on the containers. Thoroughly mix until no striations exist and you have a consistent color throughout. Once thoroughly mixed, slowly pour into your mold box and allow the silicone to naturally flow around your original. You don't need any more than 3 8 to half an inch around the entire perimeter of your bait. Remove the base and the mold box from around the rubber silicone and remove your original. In some instances, you might have to scrape away some of the excess silicone that might have flowed underneath your original. This can be done easily with a putty knife before you remove your original from the silicone mold. Now that you have your mold made, we can move on to pouring some lures. Once the alumisol is heated per the instructions, slowly pour the alumisol into your mold, scrape off the excess, and allow to cool. Be careful when you pour alumisol because it is extremely hot. Once your newly poured lure has cooled, Simply remove it from your mold and you have your first soft plastic lure. You can simply take a heat gun or a blowtorch and run it over the surface to turn them glossy. By repeating this process for making multi-cavity molds, you can make a whole assortment of soft plastic lures at a fraction of the cost that you could buy in the store. And they're custom. Don't forget to check out MakeLure.com where we have an extensive library of lure making videos to help you become a better lure maker. If you still have questions, visit our forum or give us a call at 1-800-447-9344.